are interested in life that existed a long time ago make surprising discoveries every day, like dinosaur bones, ancient forests, and even ancient humans. But here's the thing, do you think it's possible somebody dug up the ancient leftovers of a unicorn? I've got the answer to that backyard mystery, plus answers on a couple other things that you guys are curious about. Like this picture that claims America's Center for Disease Control posted a warning about a coming zombie apocalypse. This picture that wants us to believe there's a flower that has happy monkey faces on it. And this picture that claims this is a real rabbit that has huge long ears. Hey guys, Bill here. We're gonna be digging into that unicorn story in just a second, but first, just wanna let you know it's not too late to become an esteemed member of the Bill's Channel Early Alerts team. If you wanna be the first to know when a new Bill's Channel video comes out, get a leg up on winning that pin, or help spread the word on new hoaxes coming our way, just take a few seconds to click on the link in the description box below and sign up. Thank you. All right, so now let's get back to that unicorn story. The clip was first sent in by Mariania Cole, Ellie Garcia, and Bunny Love. Bunny Love wrote, I found this unicorn video on TikTok. Is it real or just BFF? Bunny, my love, you know, there are a lot of people out there that are very skeptical about whether or not unicorns actually exist or have ever existed. Uh, but what I like to say is, just because you haven't seen it with your own eyes, doesn't mean it doesn't exist, okay? So let's take a look. A quick look around reveals that the original video came from a TikTok user named 180 Flicks. The video is pretty straightforward. It's just a close-up of some hands scratching away at dirt to reveal an intact unicorn skull. Well, I gotta say, you know, that thing does look pretty authentic, but on the other hand, maybe it looks a little bit too authentic, if you know what I mean. Uh, so here's the real question. What do you guys think? Take another good look and let the world know what you think. If you think this is a real unicorn skull, then go with real. If you think this is just a fake, then you go with fake. And as usual, if you don't think we have a solid smoking gun answer, well, you know what to do then. You just go with unknown. You ready? Okay, let's go. Hey, while we're waiting for everybody to make up their mind, what do you say we take a look at this week's history video? The video was taken along the shores of the Potomac River near Washington, D.C. Now, it shows a whole bunch of these old gravestones that are lying along the riverbank. And, well, here's the question. I mean, these things just didn't float there. So it's kind of a mystery. So tell you what, if you've got a solid smoking gun answer and want a shout out in my next show, send your answer with your proof, of course, to mystery video bills channel at gmail.com. Now, as far as our last mystery video goes, I showed you this video of a strange, unbelievable fish that you can see right through. It doesn't look like it has any organs or even a stomach, so it's kind of hard to believe it's real. But guess what? It is real. The first three people to ride in with the correct answer were Destiny Unleash, Alden Dizon, and Trends. The fish is called a Leptocephalus, and in reality, it's actually the transparent larva of an eel. Now, the funny thing is, these transparent things are so different looking from the adults, scientists really don't know which adult eels they come from. Thanks to A10 Warthog for finding the original video. Coming up, we're looking into reports that a U.S. government agency posted a zombie apocalypse warning. And later, this picture. Okay, so now let's get back to our strange video showing that unicorn skull that somebody dug up in their backyard. And let's find out if this video is on the level or if there's something beyond 
fishy going on with it. All right, let's see what it says here. And it says uh, unicorn. Well, let's not talk about unicorns in general, okay? Because that's not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about is that skull that they dug up in their backyard while they were trying to plant some tomatoes or something, whether that's the real deal. And the official answer on that one is, as you might suspect. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hey. As it turns out, another TikToker called Counselly did a pretty good debunk of this video. At first, I thought no way this could be real. So I decided to do a little bit more research. And they were right. The unicorn skull is so abundant, you can get one for $35 off of Amazon. That's that. Now, to be fair, 180 Flicks posted a response to people who were saying it came from Amazon. They reposted their own video alongside the picture of the Amazon skull to show how different they look. Now, despite all that, uh, I am gonna be leaving this one as a fake because as we have discovered before, uh, I once had a video about a dragon skeleton was found and we actually got a paleontologist to come on. Those are the guys that kind of you know, dig up bones of ancient animals uh, and uh, discuss it with him. And he said, you would never find anything that intact uh, in, the, in, the down, in the ground if you're digging it up, right? So that, that skull would not be that together like that and then the other issue is it's pretty close to the surface which means where's the rest of the body you know i mean if they were going to do a second video they should show you the rest of the body in the video but they don't so it's a hoax through and through a fun one but still a hoax Coming up, we're checking into that posting of a zombie apocalypse alert by an official U.S. government agency. And later, does this picture really show a rabbit with giant long ears? All right, now let's get down to some serious business about zombies and apocalypses. Sam Darrow 02 was the first one to submit this report and wrote, Bill, I've been wondering about that zombie page on the CDC. Is it real or fake? Sam, CDC stands for Centers for Disease Control, and it just happens to be one of the U.S. government's most important agencies for protecting public health. Now, if the CDC is posting things about zombie apocalypses, well, that is important news. All right, guys, here's the post, and here is part of what it says. There are all kinds of emergencies out there that we can prepare for. Take a zombie apocalypse, for example. That's right, I said zombie apocalypse. You may laugh now, but when it happens, you'll be happy you read this. From there, the post goes on to uh, give you tips about what to do uh, if there is a zombie apocalypse or an emergency like that. Uh, and it mostly centers around creating an emergency kit and an emergency plan. Okay guys, take another good look at this thing and make up your own mind. Now, if you think this is a real post put on there by the CDC itself, well, then the answer is real. If on the other hand, you think this was placed there by hackers or this isn't really the CDC website, then just go with fake. And as usual, if you don't think we have a smoking gun answer, go with unknown. Okay, so let the world know what you're thinking. And while you do that, I'm gonna get out this and we're gonna find out what the CDC is thinking. Now, what I'm thinking is, uh, you know, the way the world's been going the last couple of years, I wouldn't be surprised if there is a zombie apocalypse coming. I mean, these are weird times. All right, let's see what they say here. Uh-huh, uh-huh, give me a sec. Yeah, all right. All right, don't get freaked out. I don't want you to be scared because, you know, there's always an action and a counter reaction. And your counter reaction could mean the difference between being prepared and not being prepared because the official answer from the CDC, whether they posted that blog to prepare yourself for a zombie apocalypse is real. Yep, that's right. This post is an official post on the CDC website, and it did exactly what it was intended to do, draw a lot of people to the site to check it out. They even made a video about it. 
An increasing number of citizens in remote areas are disappearing. As more people disappear, the number of gruesome, unexplained deaths is increasing, especially at night. We've identified the perpetrators as difficult to kill, flesh-eating zombies. All right, now before you start freaking out, let's remember one thing. In a situation like this, it always pays to take a look at the details. If you look at the description box down here, it says the video is fictional, as in fake. It was made to help school aged children learn the basics of emergency preparedness. Okay, now you can say what you want about how wise it was for the CDC to plant that little hoax on their website, but guess what? Educators love it. They demand more because they say kids pay attention. Uh, and so the CDC is continuing to update their zombie preparedness page to remind you guys it's always good to have an emergency kit and an emergency plan. <laughs> Next up, we move into the beautiful world of flowers and this picture. It was submitted by Chris Sanchez, who just wrote, is it true there's a monkey-like flower? Chris, when it comes to nature, you know what I always say, anything is possible. But on the other hand, this one's a little bit hard to believe. Okay, guys, take another good look and let the world know what you think. Are these real flowers? Or maybe somebody, something that somebody just cooked up in their computer, uh, as in big fat fake. All right, so let's see what we got here. Let's see who's got it right and who's got it wrong. I hope it's real because I'd really like to have a flower like that in my yard, if you know what I mean. But on the other hand, you know, the more I look at that picture, what would make that flower even better? If it modeled itself after the wise monkeys in Japan, what, what is that thing where the monkeys go, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Now, if that flower did that, that would be awesome. Well, let's see what it is. Let's see if we can just get it with smiling monkeys on it. Uh, and the official answer is, wow, believe it or not, real. Thanks to my super sleuths on Facebook like Landon Ford, David Lore and Elijah James Franco, just to name a few, uh, we now know this is a real flower, and get this, it's called a Dracula simia, or more popularly known as a monkey orchid. Unfortunately for most of us, the flower is very rare and can only be found in Ecuador and Peru. It only grows at high elevations and was only first discovered in 1978. From flowers, we now move on to animals, rabbits to be exact. The picture was sent in by Mr. Crayon7119, who just wrote, is this picture for real? Is that a real rabbit? Mr. Crayon, you know, rabbits have been a very popular submission here at the Real or Fake Show for a long time. Like this picture of a giant rabbit on Google Maps sent in by Reaper's Demon Rat, or this uh, kind of Trevor Henderson looking giant rat sent in by Molten Chocolour, or even Glow in the Dark Rabbit sent in by Larry the Traitor. And now we have a rabbit with long ears. So, on the one hand, yeah, why not? I mean, there are dogs with long ears. But on the other hand, you know, if you look close at those ears, they kind of look like they're sewn or made out of cloth or something. I don't know. Okay, guys, it's time for you to make up your minds. You can call it real, if it's uh, like real living rabbit, or fake, uh, as in anything else, like a toy or even a pillow. And don't forget, you can always go with unknown if you don't think we have an answer. All right, let's see what we got here. I mean, who knows? Maybe this thing is a new version of Peter the Rabbit. Or maybe Roger Rabbit, for that matter. Or even the Easter Bunny. I mean, who knows? Maybe they cooked this thing up in a science lab somewhere. Who knows? It's a weird world, ladies and gentlemen. It's a weird world. Well, okay, so this one actually turns out to be something that maybe should be in Ripley's Believe It or Not. But then again, maybe not, because the official answer is 
Uh, real. That's right. This is a real living rabbit with giant ears. Thanks to Jeff Kane, Rafael Capule, and Yayet Benang on Facebook, we now know this guy is called an English Lop Rabbit. Lop Rabbits are considered a fancy breed of domestic rabbit that was developed in England in the 19th century through selective breeding. They average about 11 pounds or five kilograms, and they're known as the dogs of the rabbit world because they are outgoing, curious, and friendly. All right, well, I guess this brings us to my favorite part of the show, which is my favorite fake of the week. But before we do that, let's take a look at some all new, fantastic, over the top, belongs in a museum, fan art. First up is this colorful piece from 11-year-old Lewis in Portugal. Lewis says the picture is of Bill in his real or fake world, surrounded by all the regulars like Cartoon Cat, The Rake, Slender Man, and all the other monsters that I've covered in my show. Thanks, Lewis, from Smooth Emotions channel. Great stuff. Next up is this creation from Avante. He said he made it to turn me into a meme using the familiar, you're driving me crazy, slogan that I use. Well, thanks, Avante. I, you know, I always wanted to be a meme, so now I got my chance. This one is from Nathan. It shows me in Freddy Fazbear's Pizza instead of Freddy or Bonnie or any of the other animatronics. In addition to that, if we look closely here in the background, we have the famous flying snake that was in one of my Amazon videos. Great work, Nathan. Thank you. If you have a picture and you're not quite sure whether it's real or not, send it in to me at billschannel at gmail.com and I'll take a look. Please don't leave links or suggestions in the comment section because really, the only thing that is gonna do is turn me into a mega screamer screaming, you're driving me crazy! See you next time. And now for my favorite fake of the week, it was sent in by Anonymous and shows what has become a genre of sorts, things hitting the moon. Now, why I like this one is because of the soundtrack. You hear the boom? Well, here's the deal. Sound travels at over 700 miles per hour or 1,100 kilometers per hour, but the moon is over 200,000 miles or 321,000 kilometers away. So that means when that thing hit the moon, the sound would take at least five minutes before it would reach the Earth, making this video so, so fake. It's funny! Hey, don't go away just yet. There are a whole lot more real or fakes you can look at. Just go ahead and click on one.